take a photo of a green cup Where's the image? Right at the bottom. Come on YouTube, you guys are too easy on me. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. As we saw in the intro, then when we take the uh, photo with the images, they're ending up back to front. The oldest images are showing first. The most recent one, which you want to see, is ending up at the bottom of the recycle view. Not desired behavior. So I'm going to show you how to sort your files so the photo, most recent photo, will appear at the top or the front of the list. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go inside my image adapter here. And I need to change this file here. I need to change it to an array. The array is going to be the resorted files for most recent first. So I just need to change this to an array. And I'm going to change the name as well here. Make it a member variable. Images. Let's get root of the S and M image files is a bit more reflective of what I want. Now I need to go down and just fix fix this variable in the right places. Let's open up this. Okay. Now we need to go to file. This is now going to be an array of files that have been reordered when we pass it into here. And if I just go files, it's reflective of what I want, files here. Keep on going down here. I'm pressing F2 to look at the next error on Android Studio. And I'll just comment out this line and do a new line. So, so I'm still going to use image file here, but it's going to be M image files and we just need to pass in position here. Okay, and last one here, I'll open up this function. We just need to make sure we return the right um, count here. So I'll copy this line comment out this and return the M image files and just get length. Okay, that's all the changes here. Basically I'm going to be passing into the constructor here the resorted array of files. So let's go into camera activity. And at the very bottom, I'm going to add a new function here, which is going to do our sorting for us. This is going to return a array of files, array of files, yeah. Okay, and I'll just call sort files to latest, something like that. I want to pass in a file here. So it's, I'll just call it file. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just create this file. If I go back up here, change the name so it's a bit more reflective of what I want. This is going to be the directory of images. First thing I want to do here is get all an array of all the images in that file directory. So here I'll create a new 
create a file array, oh, an array. I'll just call it files equals file images and list files inside that directory. So now I've got an array of all my files. I need to resort that. Currently they're the oldest images starting first, going to the most recent. I need to reverse that. So I'm going to use an array sort to do that. An ar an array sort pass enough oh, pass enough files and then I'm going to use a comparator just to compare each the date stamp of each file okay here's where I'm going to oh, here's where I'm going to do the um, checking of it value of now I'm going to do the right hand side first, last modified, there. Now, and I want to compare to the left hand side date stamp. And complete that function call. So I'm just comparing date stamps and then I'm reordering them and putting the most recent ones in first. That's, this is a good way to do that. Now we just have to return the files. Okay, sort to latest is now set up. Now I just need to go into the places where I'll be passing this array of image files that have been reordered, so I need to reorder them. So remember when we changed the constructor to be um, an array of files. Here we can just call our function inside the constructor argument. So just sort files to latest. So we're resorting them. We're outputting the sorted. Um, array of files straight into the constructor now. And we'll do the same change here. Every time we take a photo we'll have to reorder them to the right order. And we did that in Octavity Result as with the previous tutorial. Let's just add the same change here. Okay, let's run that and see what happens. And let's record what's happening on my display. Okay, straight away you can see that I've got the most recent image showing up now. Let's take a photo of a nice pair of computer glasses. And as you can see, expected behavior is now happening. The most recent file, photo, image is now being displayed. So this was just an example of how you can use um, arrays sort with a comparator just to reorder your files in a direct directory. And you could do this with any type of object that you wanted. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoy my tutorials, Subscribe. Bye for now. This has got the latest sort file um, changes. So that's appearing at the far right hand side.